I hope everyone is having an incredible day. Easy Auto Fix here, and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad EGR valve. The purpose of the EGR is to open up and recirculate part of the exhaust gases back into the intake manifold. These exhaust gases help reduce the temperature of combustion. This is super important because NOx is formed at high temperatures, so by reducing the temperature, it reduces the NOx formation. So when it comes to symptoms of a bad EGR valve, it can go into two different directions. You can have symptoms of a stuck open EGR valve, or you can have symptoms of a stuck closed EGR valve. The easiest way to figure out if your EGR valve is bad is by noticing your check engine lights on. Here are some codes related to a bad EGR valve. You can read these codes by going to the parts store near you and they'll most likely do it for free. Or you can buy the scanner that I have that's worth it, linked in the description below. The second symptom you might be experiencing with your car is a failed emissions test. This can be due to a stuck closed EGR valve. A stuck closed EGR will prevent exhaust gases from coming into combustion. If the exhaust gases don't come in, the temperature inside the chamber will increase and produce more NOx. And too much NOx will fail your emissions test. The third symptom you might be experiencing with your car is engine knocking. Engine knocking is when an unplanned mini detonation occurs during the power stroke in combustion. People describe it as a pinging noise. A stuck closed EGR prevents exhaust gases from coming inside of the combustion to cool it down for proper temperature levels. Hot temperature levels inside of the combustion can ignite the air slash fuel in unwanted times which creates your engine knocking. The fourth symptom you might be experiencing with your car is a lack of acceleration. A stuck open EGR valve can be the cause for this. A stuck open EGR will continuously add exhaust gases back into the combustion chamber. These gases will take up space, therefore limiting the amount of air that can enter for optimal engine performance. This is why your acceleration is lacking. The fifth symptom of a stuck open EGR valve is a rough idle. The same reason occurs here. Since the EGR is stuck open, it takes up space from the exhaust gases inside the combustion, not leaving much room for air to combust with fuel efficiently. This leads to improper combustion, which results in your car having vibrations. Now if you figured out the EGR valve is faulty and want to save some money, use the cleaning chemical in the description below to try cleaning it first before buying a new one. The EGR valve is known for collecting grime due to recirculating the exhaust gases all the time. There's many engine parts that create similar symptoms but different reasons why. If you want to learn more, make sure to subscribe and check out my auto symptoms playlist. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a productive day.